Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. What's the time? It's time for more Time Pilot. This time on the ColecoVision. Enjoy! Also the Atom computer, if you have one of those. The Atom. Sounds like it's gonna play a game of thermonuclear war with you. As a general rule, I never trust a computer with a human name. Hal 9000, Mother from Alien, Adam. Adam sounds like he's up to no good. However, this game is up to good because it's time pilot for the ColecoVision. And I made a vow that in 2016 I would review more ColecoVision games, but first I needed to fix my controller. So I was actually testing my ColecoVision just to make sure I could explain the controller problems because it wasn't working last year, and it seems to have fixed itself. The ColecoVision has self-healing powers. It's like Wolverine, with a sweet metallic finish and rainbow logo. Upon that discovery, I was so excited to finally play this version of Time Pilot, which turns out to be the first home console version of this game that I've ever reviewed. Previously, I reviewed Time Pilot in my Multicade. I have reviewed Vector Pilot on the Vectrex, which is like a different take on this game for the Vectrex. It's spectacular. But here we have an official Time Pilot home console release. All the way from 1983. And during this recording session, ColecoVision Wolverine seems to have lost his self healing powers, and controller one stopped working again, so I played a two-player game for the direct feed recording that we're watching here, and used a Sega Genesis controller to play the game on player two. Dogs bark for Sega Genesis controllers because they're good. Time Pilot is a brilliant old-school Konami arcade game originally released in 1982. Quick, get the guy! There's the big points! You fly through time and space as a super airplane shooting down enemies in 1910, 1940, 1970, and 1985. Woo! Yes! It does not appear that the UFO level is in this game, sadly. That, that's from the distant future, 2001. While this may appear simple on screen, it's not. Basically, you fly around in circles and shoot enemies who are shooting at you, but as time progresses, their weapons technology improves. And they upgrade from standard bombs to missiles to super homing missiles in 1985. And it's up to you, the time pilot to avoid them, or at least shoot them down. After you clear out a certain number of enemies in each wave, you then battle an end boss, sort of. You basically just shoot down a giant blimp or airplane. To the future! Which can be trickier than it looks, especially when you really can't see the shots all that well on the ColecoVision screen. This is kind of an odd take on Time Pilot. It doesn't look quite like the arcade game. It's close, but on whatever monitor I've played this game, I, I find the colors to be a bit washed out and sometimes it's tough to see the enemy fire and the guys parachuting, which is where you get the big points. You want to collect all of the parachuting dudes which increase in bonus points each time you collect one per level. While the controls take some getting used to with the ColecoVision controller, the sound is really good, especially considering this was released in 1983.
And watch out for those pesky homing missiles. When you get good at it, you can avoid them, and it's a good trick to leave one on screen at a time chasing you so you know where it is. There's a bunch of different strategies and ways to score points in Time Pilot. It's a fun game. Really easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. And like a lot of the old school ColecoVision games, there's four difficulty settings. If you're any good at Time Pilot at all, jump immediately to difficulty three or four. After completing four waves of action, you then return to 1910 and annihilate biplanes from the future! Because you're time pilot, and they're not. What? That... that's not true. This game is factually inaccurate. While this version of Time Pilot may not be the best home console version out there, I would definitely hunt down the Konami Arcade Classics collection for PlayStation. If you want an authentic arcade recreation of Time Pilot, it's really good. This one is pretty sensational for an early 80s game system. Time Pilot on ColecoVision. Thank you once again to Mark and Suzanne from East Meadow, New York once again. Thank you, where it's always a great time. For Time Pilot. For, for the dog to bark in the middle of recording. She's a fan. Time, time pilot. pilot! Oh, come on! That was unfair. That was unjust. That was unright. Oh. <laughs> Apparently the machine has thrown me in jail. Welcome to the club, it's the Lord Carnage Club, where I give thanks to these backers on Patreon. Starting with Jeff, Jeff Captain Dauntless Breyer, Ohad Kane, Jack Stavris from Australia, Philip Michael Stiles of Ortona, Philip Stravenmuller of Vienna, Austria, Landon Ellerby. Justin Duran from Palm Desert, California. Steve Chucknick from New Jersey. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Hemp Trax. Al Stiver. Chip Sankbell. Shadow Minion. For Lord Carnage. Busy Signal. Jason from Kamloops, British Columbia. Will. Zach Brenner, Sergio Matthias Hergers, Jim Moriarty, Rob from Palmerston North, New Zealand, Kishore Ken, Soft Otaku. See you next time on Classic Game Room, Mark III.